Hello, how's it going? English lesson for you right here. It's just basically going to be me talking, but you'll be able to improve your listening comprehension just by listening to me. And I am going to introduce quite a few new terms. So I hope you're ready for this. Some of it might be a little bit advanced, but I wanted to talk about a comment I got from Alexi have it right here I'll need to put my glasses on to read it but I'll put it up on the screen so you'll be able to read it but Alexi I did a video on um, Big Brother in 1984 I'll leave a link to it at the end of this one but Alexi says 1984 was one of the first books I read in English from cover to cover Right there, I'm thinking Alexi's English is pretty good because he used a term we often use in English, but I don't know how many people learn it, and that is cover to cover, cover to cover. So I have a, a couple props here, and when you have props, it's just different items that might help you teach, or maybe you're an actor, you might use props. But uh, this right here, Stephen King, one of my favorite authors, um, this book, we call this a, a hardcover book, by the way, because it's, it's hard. This is a, a paperback book, but they both have covers. So the cover of the book, this would be the front cover. This would be the back cover. So if you read a, a book from cover to cover, it basically means you read it from beginning to end, beginning to end. So Alexi says he read 1984 from cover to cover. Yeah. Big Brother is undoubtedly watching us. Undoubtedly watching us. And it happened so unexpectedly that even George Orwell could not predict. Very well written, by the way, there. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. I, I put a B in there, but I don't think we often say undoubtedly. We might. Undoubtedly. It's a good word. It's a good word to know. Undoubtedly, it's a good word to know. And I said, wow, congratulations, Alexi. The book still holds up after all these years. And that's what I want to talk about is the fact that I used still holds up. We use this term when something is older. So it has to be old, but it still works today. So I think the book 1984, even though it was written in the 1940s, we can still apply it to today. It still works for today. We can still learn something from it today. Another movie that I wanna talk about, it's not related to 1984, but there's an older movie that I think still holds up. We use this a lot with movies. Um, it's a movie I saw a while ago, but it's a really old movie. I think I watched this about five years ago, but it's called The Sting with Paul Newman and Robert Redford. And it was made in the 1960s. But when I watched it, I thought, wow, this movie could have been made today. And I think people would like it. I think it still would hold up. Uh, another thing is music. Maybe I, I like the Beatles. I think I've talked about that before. Um, they obviously were around in the 1960s. Well, maybe if you're younger than I am, you don't know that the Beatles were around in the 1960s. But if you're my age, you know, like, oh yeah, the 1960s, that's when the Beatles were popular. But in my opinion, some of their music could be released today, and I think it would still do well. It would still hold up. A song like I Want You, She's So Heavy from uh, Abbey Road, I think, it's, it's a, I think it might work still today. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is how we wouldn't use still holds up with people. So I was thinking about Marilyn Monroe. She was an actress in the 1950s and 60s, long time ago. She has since passed away. Uh, but some people back in the day, back in the day, we sometimes use that term when it was a long time ago. So some people back in the day, thought that she was beautiful. Some people today, I think, still think that she's beautiful. So instead of saying people, oh, Marilyn Monroe, she still holds up 
we probably wouldn't use that for a person, but we might call her a timeless beauty, a timeless beauty. So in any time that she lived, some people might consider her beautiful. So lots to learn there. Maybe watch this video a couple times. If you want more English, I talked about it before. I made a video about Big Brother. Maybe you want to check that out. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.